Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Wednesday, December 30th. No, December 29th. Sorry. Just want to give you a quick update. Today, we got the uh, Energy Information Administration's weekly petroleum status report. Pretty good report. I thought it was pretty bullish. Uh, drawdowns in inventory for crude, gasoline, and distillate. All three of these are still down significantly year over year, percentage wise. So inventories are tight. Uh, we also saw a big pickup in gasoline demand. Uh, the increase, I think it was like uh, 780,000 barrels a day. Put it up around 9.78 million barrels a day. That That's the highest in five months and uh, the weekly increase was the biggest in six months <clears throat> so pretty good gasoline demand uh distillate demand was up jet fuel demand was up refiner inputs that is the crude that refiners take to put into their refineries that was off a little bit but it's still up significantly year over year um what else we had uh, exports kind of flat, I have to say. Uh, production, gasoline, and I'll get back to exports in a second. Gasoline production was up. Distillate production was up. This is interesting because even with high levels of gasoline production and high levels of distillate production, we're still seeing drawdowns in inventory. So that says something right there. I mean, gasoline production is at a uh, fairly high level. Distillate production is at a very high level, but we're still seeing draws in inventory. So it says something about demand. Uh, we may be uh, exporting a lot of that product too, because actually refined product exports are pretty, uh, well, they're flat year over year, but they, you know, um, they've come up from a deficit year over year. They're now flat. Yeah, let me uh, get back to that export thing. Crude exports are kind of soft. They're up about 4.8% over last year. Product exports flat year over year, as I mentioned. But look, we have tight inventories. Demand is pretty strong. Uh, if exports pick up, I mean, we could really see this petroleum market take off. And one thing, you know, that I've been mentioning is that oil producers if you look at the weekly cftc commitments of traders report oil producers have been net long like for the last eight weeks two months they've been net long futures which is a kind of an unusual position for them because usually they're going to be short because they're just long the physical anyway and uh i mean they're they have a net long crude position now, I think almost near 60,000 contracts. I mean, that's that's huge for them. And again, that's kind of unusual. I mean, normally producers are gonna be short just as a hedge. They have the physical, so they wanna lock in that, that profit. So they're usually net sellers or net short. So they really see kind of a bullish outlook. <clears throat> and they were buying right into that whole dip that we saw last month when the prices dipped down into the 60s. They were, they were there every single week as net buyers and they never wavered, never wavered. Now you see oil prices back up again. So um, the report was pretty bullish. I thought the report was pretty bullish. Uh, I'd like to see a pickup in exports, but other than that, I didn't see anything really that negative in the report. I mean, inventories are still tight. Demand is strong. Exports are, you know, kind of flat year over year, but they've been trending higher, which is good. I mean, bullish if that's if that's your outlook. And I would wait until, you know, the 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 signal here, the cue would be when you start to see the producers selling again and and flipping back to net short. I mean, this is one of these markets, and it doesn't always work this way, but I happened to 
I happen to notice or find that when it comes to crude oil and the WTI contract, I mean, if you follow the net positions of producers in the CFTC report, I mean, that, that's, those are pretty good signals. I mean, you could go with that. I mean, if they're buying, you know, you want to be buying the dips. If they're selling, you want to be selling the rallies. I mean, in some other markets, the uh, commitments data is not that good in terms of forecasting or giving you market signals, trading signals. But I find that in, uh, in oil, it tends to work very, very well. So, you know, when you see them next time, when you see them selling or, or turn, uh, flipping over to net short, that's your sign that you want to be selling rallies. I mean, right now, that that's just hasn't been the case. I mean, they've been steadfastly buying this market and that's been holding it up. So anyway, that's the update for this afternoon. I'll probably be back at you later on today, but I just want to send this out. I hope you're having a great day. And uh, I guess I'll see you later. Bye.